Good morning and welcome to The Daily Five. I'm Cliff Cumber. And did you know we're giving you the chance to vote for the story to lead off tomorrow's Daily Five? But to get your two cents in, you've got to vote and do so on our Twitter poll. Look for it early this afternoon at twitter.com slash fredneuspost. So, does Twitter drive news coverage? Perhaps CNN found out the hard way. If you tuned into CNN this past weekend, you probably heard all about people's confusion about the switch from analog to digital TV signals, but it was the Twitter users, not the 24-7 news channel, who were reporting on the really hard news, that is, specifically protests that were going on in Iran as a result of the country's recent election. Later, websites such as time.com to cnet.com were talking about tweets that took CNN to task for ignoring the Iran events. Coincidentally, CNN's Iran coverage picked up a little more on Sunday. Good stuff. Maybe it was a realization that he just made a bad joke. Maybe it was the Fire David Letterman group that's been calling for his removal. Or maybe it was the loss of advertiser embassy suites from the CBS website. But after a half-hearted apology last week for a joke about one of Sarah Palin's daughters getting knocked up by A-Rod during a Yankees game, David Letterman made a full apology Monday to the governor. This morning, in a statement, Palin said she accepts Letterman's apology. When Katie Holmes visited the set of Fox's So You Think You Can Dance, the rumor mill quickly revved up. Executive producer, Nigel, Nigel Lithoge, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> said that the show has something very special in the works, according to Access Hollywood, and even admitted to having a meeting with the actress. I'm so stoked! No, I'm not. Right now, rumors are all pointed to Katie showing up on the show's 100th episode, sh- scheduled for sometime in July. Who is Katie? The Hobbit, a prequel of sorts to Lord of the Rings trilogy, will feature some familiar faces. The movie, which follows Frodo's uncle Bilbo, will see Ian McKellen return as Gandalf. Andy Serkis, who played Gollum. My precious. And Hugo Weaving as Alron. Mr. Anderson. The Hobbit is set to be released in two installments. I didn't think it was funny either. In two installments with the first hitting theaters in December of 2011. Hitting store shelves today, DVD aisles will see the arrival, arrival of Tyler Perry's Medea Goes to Jail, as well as Friday the 13th. It's a good reason to stay home, Dan. Yeah. Blu-ray owners will get their chance to pick up a couple of classics in space, balls, and Ghostbusters. And speaking of those slime-fighting heroes, the new Ghostbusters video game also debuts today. Awesome. That'll do it for today's edition of the Daily Five. Have a great day, Frederick. Cheerio.